Hey guys, here with Coach Hunter to go over today's workout. Your warm up is going to be a seven minute AMRAP of three alternating dumbbell hang cleaning jerks, seven glute bridge, seven alternating V ups each side, seven plank shoulder taps each side, and then we're just going to do some general stretching for the running that's coming your way. Dumbbell hang cleaning jerk, we're going to take that dumbbell, stand all the way up with it to the knee, we're going to clean it to the shoulder and then take it overhead for that jerk. All right, so you're gonna alternate three each side, make that transition at the shoulder. For your glute bridge, we're gonna lay down, bring those heels in, drive the hips straight up to the ceiling, really squeezing the glutes, make all that movement happen. And then stay down there for seven alternating V-ups, so we're getting a nice elongated position, hinging at the hips, bringing one leg up at a time, touching it with one or two hands, however you prefer. Then we're gonna roll over into plank position, and we're gonna do seven plank shoulder taps. So uh, alternating, keeping that back nice and flat. You can do this from the knee also if you need to, to maintain that good plank position. And then uh, we're gonna go do some running. So if you wanna stretch out the calves, um, do some high knees, butt kickers, things like that, just to get uh, the glutes, hamstrings, calves all uh, set up for that run. So for your workout today, it's gonna to start with a 1200 meter run. If you don't know what that is, we're gonna run out for three minutes and back for three minutes. Then we're gonna go into 36 alternating dumbbell snatch, 36 push-ups, and then we're back out for an 800 meter run. So that's gonna be two minutes out, two minutes back. And then we're gonna to go to 24 dumbbell snatch, alternating dumbbell snatch, 24 push-ups. Then lastly, it would be a 400 meter run. So one minute out, one minute back, 12 alternating dumbbell snatch, 12 push-ups to finish the workout. Alternating dumbbell snatch, can be from the ground, one big movement going overhead. So keeping that dumbbell or weight nice and tight to the body, drive through your heels, pop the hips, and then take it overhead. <clears throat> Alternating anywhere below the chin. So if you wanna make that transition at the ground or at the shoulder, whatever works for you. And then we're gonna to go to the ground for those push-ups. So here we wanna see, again, nice plank position. Chest is gonna go all the way to the ground. Don't short yourself. Make sure that chest makes contact at the ground. Pressing hard through the palms to finish at a full locked out position. All right, if you need to do this from the knee, that'll work as well. Again, priority one is <clears throat> plank position. Number two, make sure you're getting that full range of motion. Chest to the ground, arms locked out at the top of each rep. And then running, obviously, is running. If you don't have the ability to run, then it's six minutes of cardio in the first piece, four minutes in the second piece, and two minutes in the third piece. Accessory work today is gonna to be some stretching. So we're gonna start with a one minute calf stretch. So on a wall or on an object, we're gonna pop the toe up and then get a nice stretch of the calf. And then once we've hit uh, one minute each side, we're gonna to go to a forearm smash with a ball or any type of weight. So a lacrosse ball if you have it, tennis ball, we're going to smash the forearm. So just Rolling in nice and tight, kneading all that forearm muscle. Should feel really good after holding on to that snatch. And then lastly will be a palm smash. So from the push-ups, and we're just gonna knead that in the meat of your palm, one minute each side. All right, make sure you get this accessory work in. It's gonna help with the recovery. Have fun with this workout. Stick around, check out the movements. We'll see you in the next one.